Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're first time here. I am Sopo and I am filming another sit down video today. Usually I film weekly videos about beauty, lifestyle kind of vlogs, makeup, fashion and a little bit about interior as well. So I strongly believe that there is something interesting for every person. So if you're new, I strongly encourage you to check out the list of my videos that are already uploaded and consider to join my friends community over here. Now let's not make this intro any longer and discuss the item in question which is Caudalie Vino Perfect Serum that I got almost a month ago. This one has been highly hyped on TikTok, on YouTube, everywhere basically and I really really wanted to give you my first impressions. It's sort of first impressions because I've been using it just one month now and I have really mixed feelings about it. So we're gonna be talking everything like from ingredient list to what to expect when you apply, what type of texture and my experience so far. So first things first, a little bit about the brand itself. Codaly is a name that probably everyone has heard because it's mid-priced ranged skincare brand from France. I think, if I remember correct, it was founded in 1995 by Mathilde and Bernard Thomas. Not that the names really matter in this case, but these were the two who strongly believed the positive effects of wine, like grape in skincare products and skincare routines. So they founded a brand and now the range of the products that they produce is very wide. I cannot really 100% claim but I think the core ingredient for most of the products is wine which is similar in this case as well. Now there has been a lot of buzzwords thrown around when talking about this serum. Radiance serum, serum against dark spots for all skin types, especially even for sensitive skin. It's 98% plant-based, which can be a positive and a negative thing depending on how you react to any type of ingredient really. And basically a lot of people whose reviews I've seen and read about have reported about evening out the skin, it being a really great remedy for sun-damaged skin, fighting the hyperpigmentation, or the pigment spots left from the acne scars. Honestly, it's a line and especially this serum is a product that has been a holy grail for many. This serum is said to be an alternative for vitamin C products, which again is there for fighting the aging, fine lines, wrinkles, but most importantly, the dark spots and hyperpigmentation. But it's an active ingredient that is very non-stable, have been often criticized by professionals, the way they are produced and, you know, the way they are stored. But most importantly, most of the people have been adamant about the reactions that they have gotten from the use of vitamin serum, not to speak about the fact fact that it is very pricey most of the time. So I can totally understand the hype about this line which claimed to be a safe alternative to vitamin C having 62 times the effect of brightening uh, when it came to once again dark spots and hyperpigmentation and honestly I bought into this hype. I haven't really had the best experience the first 20 days of its use. I'm gonna be definitely talking about that at the very end. It has white, sort of milky texture and in that sense it is very different from the vitamin C serum that we are mainly comparing it to. It is very easily absorbed, it blends in very quickly and I can definitely confirm that it gives you radiance, sort of like balm highlighter. Heard that a lot of people have been using this as a primer for under their makeup, giving that healthy glow from underneath. In comparison to vitamin C serum, which is often recommended to be, you know, like tapped on the face. This one, because of the milky texture, blends in better when you do the circular motion similar to the face creams. After you've applied it, you can feel a tiny bit tackiness. All in all, the application, brilliant, lightweight. It doesn't really feel heavy on the skin. It gives the radiance. I hope you don't mind that I have my phone next to me. I'm going to be checking on the names of the ingredients, not to pronounce anything wrong. The viniferin is the hero ingredient in this serum, and that's no surprise to anyone. It's an extract from grape wine stocks. It is also rich in restaveratrol. This very difficult to pronounce name is another word for an antioxidant that can be found in grapes, peanuts, berries, and even in dark chocolate, apparently. It comes in diversity of forms, in powder, peel, liquid form. This is an ingredient that fights the melanin production. Another ingredient is the olive squaline. It's a natural emollient. 
often found in different serums as well and moisturizers. It helps to seal the moisture into the skin. It's an ingredient that's said to be fighting the inflammation and irritation. So people with rosacea, eczema, and psoriasis often use it. I also have other like Tatcha face stick serum or ordinary serum which contains squalene exactly because of the reason because I often have redness, I have perioral dermatitis and I have not really made a bad experience with it even though I've heard that some people can also have some kind of reaction to squalene. In my case, it definitely worked really good. Third ingredient is the Biomimetric Emulsifier. Basically helps Viniferin to penetrate deeply into the skin because when finding the dark spots, we want not only the upper layer of the skin to be affected, but to have the good effect of this ingredient from within. And generally, if you look at the top five ingredients, there is water, then we have butylene glycol, then we have glycerin and coco caprate and then we have squalene. Butylene glycol is often used for softening and moisturizing the skin and often used for stability and better absorption in many products. Coco caprolate also is said to moisturize and support, protect the skin barrier. It's lightweight, it's quickly absorbent and non-greasy formula, which it's often used as a silicone substitute as well and can be seen in many cosmetic products. Basically, when you look at the ingredients list, except the perfume that is at the very end, there is nothing that you could think could cause some kind of irritation or uh, purging. It doesn't have that high level of actives uh, that could cause quick skin cell turnover, like many toners do. So actually, and technically, it should be safe, safe bet. Now saying that, I really wanted to quickly tell you about my experience this far with this product. I got this in May and started using it every single day. The packaging itself recommends to use it on the face and on the décolleté, both at daytime, in morning routine and in the evening as well. I went a little bit more careful with it and started using it just in the morning. After using it uh, one week long and being very excited about it and hyped about it, how good it works and how radiant and glowy my skin looks, I started to notice whiteheads on my cheeks. Initially they were small but then they started to get hurtful which I'm not familiar with and I don't have that much experience with. The only other time when I had to deal with such painful acne flare-up was when I stopped taking my pill, leaving a lot of dark spots that I had to fight for the years to come. So I really got frightened and I stopped using it. But you know, you can never pinpoint uh, your breakout on one thing, but this was the only thing that I introduced to my skincare routine and that was different than before. Saying that I've been breastfeeding for over one year and I recently started to get my period, which is also a little bit irregular at the moment, pinpointing to the fact that my hormones are fluctuating. I have a um, young toddler and at home that needs to be tamed, managed, um, I want to follow my hobbies, so I'm quite stressed throughout the day. I don't manage to eat properly or healthy as I would love to or as I did before, causing me to like spike my sugar with some unhealthy snacks, drinks and ice cream at the end of the day. It doesn't happen every day, but I cannot really say that I'm at the best place at the moment with my routine. So I've been thinking about it, if that could be also a reason why all of a sudden my skin started to act up. But I'm not really yet ready to give up on this product, so I decided to give it another go. I started to use it with three-day interval. You know, once the skin starts to flare up, it takes quite a bit before it settles down. I'm gonna include also a little cutout that I posted on the shorts to show you how my face looks currently. Obviously, right now makeup is covering it, but I have quite a lot of active acne which potentially will, will get dark spots later on on my face. So rather than fighting dark spots, I actually got new spots on my face, which is not what I wanted to get. I'm planning to continue on trying this one once this active acne spots settle and see how it goes, if I get new inflamed spots, new flare-ups uh, or not. I would be very, very curious if you've tried this one or any other product in this line, what experience you have made so far. Let's have an open chat about it and let's don't glorify items just because everyone else does. I would say that's it for this video from my side. I hope it was somewhat useful for you too. The core message that I wanted to convey with this video was that there is no safe, safe product or formula that universally applies to everyone. Even the most safest ingredient can be an irritant for someone. It takes a lot of practice, observation, trial, and sometimes failure, similar to me, to find out what works good and what not. Told 
keeping fingers crossed that this one worked for me not only because of the price that I've paid for it but because I really love the texture and the daily results that I saw in terms of glow and radiance so I would be really happy if it's just an unlucky coincidence in my case wishing you a very great week ahead I'm gonna see you in my next video next Friday 